Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I wanted to talk to y'all real quick about some super easy pre-made feather earrings. You can kind of see, I'm going to show you on this one, um, I purchased these from like Michael's or someplace I think. Um, you can find them all sorts of different places and you can even buy the earrings pre-made at like Claire's and online and stuff. But it's just got some real basic lightweight wire that's been like almost fly fishing style wrapped around the base. And I just attached a surgical steel ear hook. That way it wouldn't irritate my metal allergies. But the problem is, is I'm kind of a short stumpy neck. Um, so these earrings are way too long for me. So to modify them out, I mean, and also they got a little damaged in transit and I have gone through before and um used on a very very low heat a straightener and just like touched it just a bit um and like fixed up the feathers before but I don't really feel like doing that right now and I do want them a little bit shorter that way I can wear my winter jacket um and it won't like my earrings won't be smushed up and relaxing on my shoulders so I'm just going to take some scissors and this is 1 million percent beginner friendly because it does not get any easier than just opening up an ear hook and attaching it. Um, but on these peacock feathers, you can kind of see it had a little bit that got laid over in the front of it. So you can just kind of reposition some of these different pieces and I want to go through and you can save all of this fringe if you want, but I have tons of it from other projects. So I'm just going to kind of turn like this. I'm going to let it fall on the floor and then sweep it up. And I'm going to kind of go through longer than what I need at first. You can always take off just a little bit more, but if you take off too much, you can't add it back on. Life lessons right there. Um, <laughs> trying to make it relatively symmetrical on the other side. The nice thing about feathers is they're not they're not like perfect ever. Each one's different and unique and stuff. And you can see how this one's like bunching up. It's tickling me higher up on my ear. It drives me nuts. And I really want every part of me wants to be able to wear long, gaudy, gorgeous earrings. But I'm just not made for that. But that's why we modify the earrings out so that we can be made for that. Um, also, this little piece, it's it keeps wanting to lay back over just the way that it's wrapped. I'm going to snip that pretty close up to the base. Just snipping off those two little pieces. And now that's laying much nicer and it's not obscuring the eye of um, the peacock feather. So don't be afraid ever to modify out your jewelry. Um, so I'm actually going to cut away these three strands as well because they want to lay over the eye also. And if you trim them up short enough, boop, then uh, you won't even be able to tell that they were supposed to have been there or that they were originally there in the first place. Now these super long ones like that, I am going to go ahead and save because um, I've used those for embroidery and stuff before because you can lay them flat on fabric and then kind of whip stitch over them uh, with a similarly colored thread and like do like fabric over that's a different tutorial that's a tutorial for another day um so you can see that one's much tidier than what it was um and i'm going to continue shaping down just a little bit more i wanted to keep a reasonably irregular hem so i'm just snip snip snipping again you can always trim just a little bit more off so be prepared to vacuum your workspace afterwards, um, but this way you're less likely to have devastating mess ups if um, if you do it just a little at a time. And you can also give it a little bit more of a diamond shape or a teardrop, which makes it, I feel like gives it a longer look as well. So you can see how that one's sitting now as compared to the original. Which let me Like this one, it's all bunched up. It's not even facing the right way now. So let me pull that out so now you can see before and after and also these ones don't really match at all um the eyes are different sizes and everything but i removed the little bits of feather that obstruct the front i trimmed down the hem and now let's put this one in if i can find my ear hole and see how it looks 
I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials on peacock feathers here coming up. So, and that one you can see it's still, still brushing my shoulder a little bit, but not nearly so bad. So let's trim this other one down. Again, I'm just real quick, I'm going to turn so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Please pardon the dogs wrestling in the background. <sighs> Removing those little bits. And I'm just going to kind of come around, gently trimming off just a little at a time. And I've done this for feathers that I've included, like incorporated into costumes, as well as like headdresses and all sorts of stuff. Now the idea here on this one, since they are earrings, even though the eyes themselves, this one's much larger than that one, I can still make them match by making the shape of the final earring, uh, have that be the part that is symmetrical. And something that you could do is layer them over each other wrong sides together that way when you take them off they will be mirroring each other if that makes sense and just kind of trim it around that way get them to match there we are and now pop them in your ear holes and if you don't have pierced ears you could actually that same little loop that's on the end there you could incorporate that into a uh an ear cuff, a wire wrapped ear cuff, if Futurevon remembers to. Futurevon, please remember to. Uh, I might put a link up on the screen where I show you how to make your own wire wrapped ear cuffs because some folks uh, just are so sensitive to metal that they don't have their ears pierced at all. And then also some folks just don't want ear holes in their ears and that's, that's perfectly fine too. So yeah, there you can see our little peacock feathers. These are much more manageable. So let me see if I can <laughs> wearing a nice little off the shoulder blouse today and they just float around really nice like that I love feather earrings because they're huge but they're very lightweight so I hope that this tutorial it's cold in here um I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you guys if you have any questions comments or ideas please leave them down below 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 um I know that this is like seems like a no-brainer but sometimes i don't know if y'all have ever experienced this but i've actually experienced like fear it's like i can cut that <laughs> yes you can cut it you can change it, you can do all sorts of stuff so be sure to like share and subscribe um especially subscribe because i'm going to be doing a lot more peacock feather tutorials here coming up um on different ways of how to incorporate them into resin how to put them onto cabochons and all sorts of different stuff. So they are my favorite thing and I'm feeling them here lately. So thanks again guys for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>